Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing video and in this video we're looking at the METERC sound level meter. It's the MK09, Mark 09 I guess. It's 1995 from Amazon, 30 to 130 decibels. This sound level meter comes with a tripod mount, backlit display, max hold, minimum hold and also has batteries included. So why have a sound meter at all? Well, for health and safety reasons, and that's a good enough reason alone. But for me, as a newly formed YouTuber, I like to record sounds so you get an idea of how loud things actually are. I will give you a rough idea of sound levels. Well, normal conversation speech, when you're talking to someone that is, with your words, is round about 60 decibels. A sharp and loud click of the fingers, for example, is nearly 100 decibels. And so you'll find out a little bit later on. So if you're being continually exposed to the same sound all the time, for example, engine noise, then it could eventually be damaging for your hearing. You don't actually need to get a dedicated device like this. I got this mainly because it's easy to film and for you to see a graphical representation of the noise around us, or indeed when I'm demonstrating something. However, there are many, many apps you can get, and the one I would recommend the most is NIOSH, N-I-O-S-H, as you'll see on the screen now. Now let's get back to this unboxing video of ours. So the actual device itself, 1995, feels very good in the hand. I'm just putting this uh, windbreak device on because it gets rid of any extra noise that you don't need to hear. The overall feel is good and it feels very solid. I like it. Now let's go through the instructional booklet here and see if we can find English because that's what I understand better than any other language. Well, the front cover seems nice and clear. Let's hope the words are exactly the same. No doubt there are many, many languages this instructional booklet has. Ah, here we go. English. That's what I understand. Ah, now that is interesting. So I have to calibrate it. How on earth am I going to calibrate this? Well, I do know that my NIOSH app has been tested with an official sound meter. And it was surprisingly accurate. So much so that I use the screwdriver as it's suggesting I do in the back here to twist it and got to level up and be exactly the same as the reading on the NIOS setting on my iPhone. Conversely, the other way of doing it is to get a device that is exactly 94 decibels and measure it with that. When we switch this on for the first time, it should revert to continuous metering. So let's put this to the test with a click of my fingers. Well, that worked pretty well. Well, that was nice and responsive, just as quick as the iPhone app I was using. So very familiar. By pressing the hold buttons I've just done here, you can lock it at the sound that you wanted to remember, a specific noise, for example. And by pressing the button again, releases it, and we'll go back to continuous metering. If we press the button on the other side, we can lock it at the quietest sound or the maximum sound, as in this case. and louder, and that works surprisingly well. And we'll just hold it at that loudest level sound. Now, again, you have the option of going for the quietest one. And let's have a go at that one. So I'll do a nice gentle tap. Okay. Okay, so it is at its quietest setting, it appears. It's probably picking up on the air conditioning system I've got in the background. And that is the quietest sound it's picking up because I can't go quieter than that. So is this device accurate? Well, from what I can see, it's accurate enough for myself. I wouldn't say it's industry standard at 20 pounds or just under, um, but it's well made and it seems to do the job. It's easy to use as far as I'm concerned and will certainly help me convey information to you guys and also to myself. It also looks nice too. It has the tripod mount at the rear here and has a range of 30 to 130 decibels of sensitivity. I'm not sure what it would be like with a gunshot, but I will find out at some stage. A nice clear display too. Talking of gunshots, let's see what it sounds like with my Walther CP99 CO2 pistol with the silencer. I'm sure this will be quite interesting. So I'll fire it near the receiver here. Wow, and there you have it. 
This device is excellent guys, easy to use and lots of fun. Just before I go guys, thank you so much for all the support you've given me with this channel. I really appreciate it.